What's up guys? So a long day at the shop here, getting ready to wrap up these last couple. Uh, I had an appointment for later in the afternoon, kind of last one of the day, talking about customer call, talking about brake pedals low to the ground, you know, so I'm thinking maybe needs brakes or a lot of rust around here, you know, maybe the brake lines are rusty, been getting a lot of those lately, uh, especially, you know, winter time's right around the corner, salt season's coming. Um, but you know, dealing dealing with the rust around here in in the rust belt, um, and then and then for my other video the other day, you know why I pulled that Ford motor out of the top because of rust, and you know us techs living in the rust belt having to deal with you know these rusty cars, salt. I mean, you can't have a car that's two three years old that already has exhaust bolts pretty much rusted into one, and you know dealing with rusted fasteners breaking and just everything you know rusted everything you know some of these car manufacturers don't last three years around here um you know they start to rust around the doors and around the wheel wells and things like that but i got this older sonata here and uh customers worried about his you know brake pedal and all that stuff so i figured pull it in if brake line knock it out went to go rack this thing up and uh just wanted to show you guys kind of what i see here the amount of rust we deal with here check it out All right, guys. So just starting off in the back, and you know this car is pretty much you know 10, 11 years old already, but you could see, you know, even even stainless steel doesn't stand a chance around here. Um, you can see all the rust on the back frame here. I mean, this one's probably in worse shape than usual. Gas tank straps like the rust up. Um, I was looking at the brake lines back here, and you could see where they come around. You can see there's a bunch of rust spots that looks like it's ready to burst any day. Um, don't see any leaks there, but you know, definitely, definitely gonna recommend them, I'm thinking. And then I get up to the front here, following the brake lines, don't look too bad here because they're coated. Um, but I make my way up to the front, I start looking at the frame in the front here, and I get to the right front frame, and you could see this box frame is just gone. I mean, rotted completely out. I don't know what's holding this motor in right now. There's the frame bolts, look terrible. And then it goes all the way back. I mean, you could stick your hand in there. It goes all the way back. It's all rotted out, pretty much all the way to the back. Bolt. So. Needless to say, this thing's going to need a cradle. Um, it's going to be a fun one. I'm going to see if the guy wants to spend the money. You know, I mean, at this point, you know, worrying about brake lines is probably the least of his problems. Um, you know, I know putting a cradle on this thing is probably a lot cheaper than buying a, a new car, a brand new car. But, you know, you got to got to tell these customers, man, I got to let them know, you know, I can't. I can't not say anything about this and, uh, you know, do these guys brake lines, fix his brakes and, you know, the frame fall out. So, just a quick one though, guys. We got a lot more work, you know, th this rust brings a lot more work to us, you know, a job that may take, you know, an hour to change out a cat might take, uh, you know, people living, you know, technicians and mechanics living in the rust belt, you know, two hours, hour and a half to do the same job. So if you guys ever see me working on a car, you know, and doing something maybe not by the book or not the way you guys do it, you know, living in tropical places or places that don't see salt, you know, that this is probably why, dealing with rust. I mean, it's all I know. I've never really lived anywhere that didn't have the amounts of rust like this, but you know, it's, uh, it's a lot more work. It's tough. It's tough. It gives us more work though. But yeah, guys, just wanted to shoot a quick one. Um, you know, it, that's not, that's not the worst I've seen. 
you know, for you techs out there living in the Rust Belt or having to deal with rust, you know, cities and towns that use tons of salt um, in the wintertime and, you know, you get a lot of rain season, a lot of snow season, get tons of snow. You guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, this rust is no joke. It's, uh, you know, it's tough to deal with. That's, that's one another reason why I buy some of the tools I do, that mini ductor that helps a lot with some of these rusted fasteners. But, you know, it's, it's a tough one, man. It's puts a lot more work on us, you know, it, 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 these customers' cars don't last as long as they, they do, like in Arizona, things like that, you know, a car like this, this 2007, 2008 Sonata, you know, this thing will last another 15 years if it lived in Arizona, but up by me, after five years, these cars, they're pretty much gone. But yeah, guys, just wanted to shoot a quick one. Don't forget about my October tool giveaway. Um, got the three tools. Uh, go to that video. I put the card up top here. Go to that video. Put in uh, hashtag helping text if you want to get in the, the raffle for the end of October. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment if you got to deal with rust. We'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.